All right, guys, so here's my indoor garden. Got an arrow garden here, uh, and then I got another one over here with starting up. But this one, I had some bugs. I had some amphipods, and I did a lot of trimming and pruning to get rid of uh, most that I saw. I'm trying to get zoomed in here, you can kind of see on that leaf there's a few. And if we get up here, you should be able to see kind of on this leaf that there's some more stuff going on there. So I got rid of most of them, but there are still some left. There's no way I can get them all by myself. So for indoor gardens as well as outdoor gardens, one thing you can use is ladybugs. I bought these online. They were just five bucks about with five dollars shipping, so like ten bucks. Really cheap, and you know even like one thousand five hundred. I got one fifty. Was only like ten fifteen bucks. Like they're really inexpensive. Shipping's only five bucks, and they only cost like five bucks to begin with. And we have tons of ladybugs here. Now this is too many to release all of them on my garden right now, so I'm not going to release all of them. I'm going to release probably about 10, and um, I'm probably going to do this in my outdoor garden next year too. I'll order like 1,500 of them or 750, and I'll just put them on my outdoor garden once my outdoor garden's growing to help, uh, you know, keep any little bugs away. So I'm going to go ahead and put some on, try to get like a little video once I release some, but I'm just going to cut a hole in the side of the slot here, bag here, and then try to release some. So one second, let me get set up for that. All right, so I've kind of gotten them away from the top, although they're climbing back up. I'm going to cut a corner off here. And now as they start crawling up, see if I can balance this right on the plant here. And where did I put it? Right there. And there we go, a couple are getting out and going on to my plant. Once I see about 10 come out, I will uh, close up the bag there so we don't just keep getting more. Actually, I'm gonna move this. I think they can figure it out, but I'm gonna move this and put a couple on the tomato plant back here. Gotta climb off there, guys. Maybe get a couple back on the other tomato plant. I know I got off camera here, I'm just, uh, go into these other plants. There we go, that one's going on, it looks like. Oh, changed his mind. So now I got a couple more on the outside of the bag here. I'm just gonna shake them off on the ground because not much I can do. And now I'm gonna seal up that bag. But the point is now we have lots of ladybugs on there. You can probably see them on camera. Starting to walk around. And they will stay on the plants. They're not going to try to leave as long as there's food, and they're going to find food. So they'll have no problem uh, finding all the food and starting to eat everybody. And uh, in a few days, hopefully, there will be zero insects left. Now, yes, you might have some ladybugs in your house, so it depends where your plants are. Mine are in a pet room, stays closed, and if any ladybugs gets out, my cat will eat them. So uh, any bugs that get out of my house will be eaten right away if they get out of, out of this room. But yes, if it's indoors, you want to make sure you're not worried about having a few ladybugs around because they should stay on the plants, but once all the food's gone, they might venture off try to find more food. So wanted to show this. It's a great way to get rid of pests on indoor and outdoor plants. If you have any questions, let me know. But hopefully this will fix my little infestation problem.